the illustration that we are seeing shows a typical formation in a, a soccer game. The simplicity of this game is that we have got four defenders and two attackers. In our today's video, we are going to look at the counter of the defenders, the block of the defenders, how fast and swift a defender can be to counter the attackers. In a typical game of football, we have got 4 2 2. And in this aspect, we are going to look at the four defenders and what is their role. Typically, we have got the strikers, and the purpose of the strikers is to attack. We have got two strikers and two wingers. The defenders, in our description here, we have got the yellow and the blue. The yellow are the attackers and the blue are the defenders. Let's have a look at the yellow and how they will move with the ball. Here we have got the two major strikers with the ball. When they are moving back to attack, they will move with the ball and the fact that we have got these two mid or center defenders and we have got the wing defender and the wing defender. Therefore, the purpose of this description here is to see the role of each and every individual and as the defenders, when you have got the ball, what will you do? Join me and let's go through this lesson. Welcome. When the ball is with the wing attacker, it means that the defenders have to make a swift block. As you can see, these blocks will be manning one on one. For this reason, as the striker is moving with the ball, there is also a wing defender because there is a possibility that if he beats the wing defender, then there is a possibility of shooting the ball over to the teammates who will be able to attack swiftly. And therefore, one-on-one -on -one defense will be the best way on how to counter the defenders. How well are you spaced from the goal? How far are you from the goal? Form a line defense. This will be able to help you to know where your partner is. As the defenders are approaching, they have various ways of attacking. And therefore, man-to-man -man will be a core element to counter the defenders and attackers must be able to move fast to attack this. Therefore, let's have a look at various techniques on how you can be able to use the space in your defense area. So, this is our typical formation of four defenders and countering the attackers. So, in this perspective, we are going to see how the four defenders can be able to counter in order to make a block in the defense. As I said earlier, we can have man to man. And in this perspective, each defender needs to have one person to mark. For example, this is a wing defender on the left. You need to counter the wing attacker. These two are the central defenders. They need to attack the strikers. And this is the right defender also need to attack the wing attacker. So, if you are a defender, what are you going to do once you receive the ball? First thing is to scan the area that you are in and the space available. For example, if I receive the ball, so what do I do? I need to look on my left, I need to look on my right, and I also need to look on the people who are approaching. In this perspective, I need to either to move the ball on the right, on the left, or going to counter the defenders. Therefore, let's have a look at 
direct approach. So if I receive the ball from this position, that means when the counters were coming and approaching, you try to get the ball. Then you look where your partner is, who is in the central part of it. You can pass the ball here, but checking where the attackers are. Don't pass an inaccurate pass to the defender. You can pass the ball here, or you can pass the ball to the left side. But remember, being swift and fast, moving with the ball. Avoid direct match contact with the, the attackers because you may lose the ball. So when they are approaching, make sure that you release the ball over your leg so that the others can be able to get the ball and distribute as you move forward with the ball. So the first thing that you need to look at is stopping accurately the ball. Let's see how you can be able to stop the ball as a defender. Body position, very important. Then what to do next with the ball? Your attackers are approaching. Don't ever dare approach the attacker without releasing the ball so fast. Because the purpose of the attacker is to get the ball from you and counter back. So once you stop the ball, look around and pass the ball as fast as possible. Another aspect is clearing the ball once you receive the ball as a defender. Clear the ball from the goal. Another basic skill in defense is clearing the ball by heading, especially high ball from the corners, sometimes hard shots. So you need to have the skill of jumping up to outcome the defenders. Yes, this way you clear the ball off the goal area or from the danger zone.